Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome. This is the mid-December heart spread read, already laid out here now, trying to move things a little long just now. So we see the heart spread in its proper shape. Um, over here, you're coming in. This is your energy in and around love and relationships where your mind is at, where your heart is at. You're in this four pentacles energy, so not someone like is going to be look, looking for a relationship to come in. Uh, being closed down can be literally poor. There are pentacles or things. So when you might think to yourself, well, you know, I don't even have the money to go out on a date, you know, and it's so not on my mind. Um, it can also be doing you kind of healing. I always think of this. It's uh, how you are around relationships. So it, uh, it will harken back to I kind of get a baseline here for you a, a separate from your person. They're coming with the world. We'll get there. Um, when we look at the two of you uh, together here. Um, so something in the past likely had a part in getting you into this energy. So um, often like if the tower comes down and there's a lot of work to repair it and maybe some healing time just after to deal with the shock and pinnacles, you know, that rebuilding process, having to rely on ourselves, having to withdraw into our own energy, uh, not reaching out. Um, there's uh, several cards like this that I always say when I see it. It's like, always remember, uh, you can always ask, you know, a really good friend, particularly reach out, you know, and say, hey, talk to me. You know, I don't really feel like getting up or out of bed, but I just, I want to talk. So uh, it's interesting now. Um, we see them coming in with them. Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> Beautiful downtown Cancun. So the world card, this is your person. This is where they're at in terms of love and relationship. Um, well, I see a major con over here. It's um, something to do with um, the astrology, too, as an astrologer. They're dealing with a major transit, something pretty good. Uh, something around Saturn, perhaps, you know, a long cycle of Saturn. Um, maybe they're, they have finished their second Saturn return or their first Saturn return. Maybe um, something else is going on where they feel like they've leveled up. So you're dealing with someone that be uh, operating. In fact, that it's here it's in terms of relationships. Um, um, it'd be someone that's kind of like you would say they're at the top of their game. So they would be feeling very good about themselves, very confident, you know, that kind of energy. You see, it's like very, very different from the Four of Pentacles. Uh, I can't help but immediately see a rescue energy here. And I see you have two knights, though. So I'm thinking about that as I go along. Because now, over here, I'm looking at the energy of how you're reacting to this person. How are you feeling about them? And, man, you're like falling in love. Knight is strong, Mars. And you're really you're really falling for them. You're like... Uh, um, like, I, I got to think it's like some kind of knight in shining armor. There's your knight shining armor. It's interesting, you going towards them. Um, and they have the magician is how they're interacting with you. I just don't trust the magician card in this position. I was thinking about it. Am I thinking wrong? You know, it's always try to be open. Um, but the magician is great, you know. But here, this is the energy, how they're reacting to you. It would seem to me like there's just something about the way they're reacting to you that's um, manipulative. Uh, mm, there's displacement. There's like, a, oh, they want you to look at this so you don't look at that. Um, it, it could even be, you know, um, gaslighting, maybe. Well, I kind of wonder about this here. Um, but nevertheless, you're really uh, falling for them and you have these emotions for them. Now, interestingly, um, down here is, I think, one a very important card because this is an advice from Spirit card. And that's your advice in how to handle this relationship, how best to handle that for your spiritual good. And now you have the Knight of Pentacles, a much different Knight than the Knight of Cups, okay? Knight of Cups is softy. You know, he's just uh, swooning and falling in love. And Knight of Pentacles on a mission, got a job to do. He might fall in love, but, you know, it's going to all be a good time. And now it's getting back to your, uh, pointing back at yourself, at your four Pentacles here. Um, so it's, the, it's really, if you look at it, it's just the advice of this emotional energy 
stay grounded and keep the focus on yourself here and this is important because it's a advice from spirit you know that would be maybe important regardless of whether or not you were to continue with the relationship or or not or whatever right it's like that just kind of looks like good advice like um, keep the energy flowing um, through yourself there, um, Libras. Um, and, you know, if you're in the Four of Pentacles energy, you know, you, you're you a little down in one way or another, maybe physically, and it's like, uh, it's, it's not, you see this very well depicts it, you know, it's kind of curled up in the fetal position a little bit, and you know, really much kind of, you know, are down, you know, um, and so you um, would be a passive kind of position. Um, now, their advice from Spirit is the Fool card. Very interesting, coming under the Magician. While I don't trust them, I always trust Spirit. So, what am I to make of this Fool card here? This is their advice on how, them, how they can react with you. This, you know, they're having um, um, Major Arcana, all three of their cards here. And you have the Six of Cups and the Outcomes. We'll leap ahead a minute. It, I think that this fool is relating to, this is a karmic uh, relationship, like I say, all are. But what's going on here is this energy exchange. And you have someone literally coming in that's going to be helping you. And so what Spirit's advising is for them to do it and to pull out all the stops to help you. This fool is falling right into the advice, Queen of Swords. As you guys having a talk about this and an understanding and it's a strong, open, honest talk, understanding uh, at a at a you know deep level. Okay, um, and this is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. So it's easily advice, Queen of Swords. Uh, this is a Queen of Swords is a no bullshit talk. Uh, arguing's allowed. It's uh, really uh, getting down to things here. Um, and I see this as highly encouraging for the relationship. Even before I saw the, uh, you know, Six of Cups when I was pulling this, I thought, okay, well, we got ourselves a game here with these guys. So, you know, I believe sometimes, is my belief, uh, when you have a soulmate connection, you know, we stop for a minute with all the uh, codependent and everything. And obviously you want to do your best and, and, and you know, what, what is right for you. Um, but, you know, it's not so much, I think someone owes us like a debt or it's like a, a punishment or it's just an energy exchange that goes on constantly and people that are significant in our lives are soul uh, members, soul family. That's why I have this old family tribe. Check it out. I have a soul family read, a daily collective read. So, but everyone, you know, particularly, of course, your children and, uh, you know, uh, siblings and parents and loved ones and um, so I think it's kind of like saying, uh, go for it here. And this talk will involve, uh, you like protecting yourself, um, uh, respecting yourself, um, preparing things like, uh, to go your way. It will involve you really turning around, kind of focusing, like instead of letting this person kind of go to your head and just be like, oh my God, because... I got to tell you, okay, so soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. So this got, what's got you in a tither with the Knight of Cups is you know this is a soulmate. That's true, and that's great. I don't, I don't really see a problem going forward, but, you know, it's coming in. Um, this person coming in uh, is coming in with a, a lot of uh, energy here, uh, and I think that's why the advice is to slow it down and to talk about go, what's going on. And practically speaking, if I may, uh, Libra, what this really means is like to your person, whoever they are, not to disparage them, but this is you saying, um, well, uh, you know, tell me exactly what's going on and uh, that kind of thing. Being very blunt with them and or, you know, whatever it is that needs to be said, because, you know, Libra, it's like you don't want to ruffle feathers typically. I know not all Sun Libras are like that. And I'm an astrologer. I get it. Uh, but that can be, you know, uh, I certainly don't ever, you know, I'm the same way. I'm not, I'm not softy. This is kind of this air, hard, Aquarius energy, maybe like they, I don't really care about feelings right now. I need the truth. We need to really open up. We need to communicate. We need to be crystal clear about what's going on. And this would be you, uh, Libra, saying, I, I don't want it, your little umbrella fool bullshit right now. You know, I appreciate that you're all in, 
But now I want to talk about what all in means and where are we going and who are you and, you know, in reality. And kind of bring it like right down to earth here, crystal clear, nuts and bolts, uh, earth stuff here. This Knight of Pentacles is like sent to guide you and keep you grounded, you know. Because really, otherwise, like you're not quite ready. It's like the timing's wrong here with this person. And I did get the Page of Swords here on the bottom of the deck for this reading, which I count lightly. It very well could be this reading, Page of Swords, a message. Uh, you know, uh, not necessarily a big deal. Could be a thought pops into your head. Could be someone says some kid says something. They're reading something. You read a mem, uh, you know, um, how it works. You're stepping up on the curb, boom, and that's a look for that. Um, but, you know, you, you have a soulmate connection here, and um, it's, it's going to be coming together. And I think part of it is, is like, you know, you're meant to gain more, I don't want to say control. This isn't about, like, arguing or control like that. It's just energetically. They want you to rise up and meet this person, uh, Libra, and energetically stronger, more whole way. Uh, so that as a relationship begins, it's not like 75% them and 25% you creating this new thing that is the couple. Nope. Um, so, but rest sure there is the uh, soulmate energy that you're probably well feeling, you know. Um, so that's why this is the head prevailing, you know, head over heart decisions for a minute, really looking at things. There's a reason why spirit would suggest that. You have to trust in a reading, you know. Not bad. Not bad, you know, it's like sometimes that's how, that's how you get things um, settled to move forward, you know. Um, they make this energy real, the Six of Cups energy, which can be kind of your Neptunian uh, fantasy life that you've always wanted, love that you've always wanted, always dreamt of, always knew was there for you. It can really be that, though, Libra. Let me know. Appreciate it, guys.